Welcome to Four Speedy Balls. In this video, I am going to show you a simple tutorial for great homemade duck treats, and I'm also going to share some of my thoughts on the pros and cons of homemade treats. So, if you are interested, continue watching. For these treats you will need about 500 grams of minced meat, I have turkey this time and some leftover beef, then 2 to 3 eggs depending on how much water the meat has and how big the eggs are, a handful of oatmeal and some dried herbs. I usually buy minced meat from the butcher but sometimes I make it at home from leftovers. I always use pure muscle meat uh, because my dogs have no problem digesting it, which can't be said about other parts. Eggs and oatmeal are a great source of protein and other important substances and also an excellent binding agent. I have dried basil and oregano this time, but generally any dried herbs that are suitable for a dog will help enhance the flower and the aroma and may have health benefits as well. I use a little dried garlic or parsley for example, but always check that the herbs you are going to use are safe for your dog and that are not toxic. You can consider adding some seeds. I like using flax seed as it is great for dog skin and hairs. Unfortunately, I don't have a functional oven at the moment, so I will bake the treats in this Tefal Opti Grill. I turn on the red program if you bake in the oven. Turn the oven on 180 degrees Celsius. I use a silicon baking mat for shaping. It's not a special one for treats, it's just a heat resistant oven mat. If you don't want to buy one, that's fine. I'll show you how to get by without one. Start by processing the meat. Grind the meat properly and then add the flax seed. I put about a teaspoon per 500 grams of meat. This time I have about 650 grams of meat, so I put a little more. Sprinkle the mixture with herbs. Make a fine dusting. Add two eggs. Depending on the consistency of the mixture, you can add a third egg later. Stir the mixture properly so that you can see the consistency. Now it's time to add the oatmeal. Add slowly and just a little if you want to have meat treats and not oatmeal treats. The mixture should be neither too thin nor too runny, just enough to spread it all over the silicone pad. The mixture of 500 grams of meat is enough for one standard sized mat. I just have it cut in half because of the size of the Tefal Opti Grill. As I said, I used more meat this time to show you how to get by without the pad in a moment. And now it's time to put it into the oven or, as in my case, into the Opti Grill. Bake it until you can see it can go out of the form easily. It takes about 20 minutes depending on how much water is in the meat. In the meantime, I'll show you how to prepare treats without the silicone mat. It's very simple, just add more eat mail and create more balls. Adjust the size of the balls to your dog's size. It is a very nice, relaxing activity and it is also a great training for Christmas candy baking. It's time to check the baking. It's still too raw at the moment, but if you feel the treats are burning instead of drying out, turn the heat down. I prefer taking the treats out when they are like semi-moist. This is good for quick consumption. If I need them to last longer, I need to bake them more to really dry out. But they never last more than a week as I train a lot and my dogs really love them. This is how it looks like when I keep them drying out. It takes about 20 minutes on 100 degrees Celsius. By the way, depending on the size, the balls can be done faster. So now it's time to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of homemade treats. Clearly a big advantage is that I know exactly what I put in the treats and what is the composition. I don't have my own meat or eggs, but they are still basic raw ingredients in the purest possible form and moreover in a quality suitable for human consumption as well. I can make them any time and use leftover ingredients as well. I can easily ensure that they do not contain any ingredients that my dog does not like or is allergic to. The disadvantage is their short shelf life and the moment I calculate the cost of raw materials, the cost of electricity and my time, I find that it is more economical to buy treats nowadays. 
But if I take baking treats as a pastime and I have just bought and uh, the ingredients for reasonable money, I can get the cost of making treats with 90% meat content down to the cost of buying cereal treats. Will you try these? <laughs>